Welcome to Engine Behind the Power, and our guest this evening is His Eminence, Archbishop Macarius of the Orthodox Church. Uh, welcome. Thank uh, you very much for inviting me to your program. Yes. I'm really very happy. Yes. Because tonight I will be able to give some information yes. about myself yes. and also about our activities here in Kenya. Okay. Perhaps you can begin with your journey here in Kenya. How did you come to Kenya? Yes. Um, okay. I was born in Cyprus. Yes. Cyprus is a small island in the Mediterranean Sea. And then uh, I had my uh, primary and secondary education there. And my dream was to become a musician. <laughs> yes. Okay. This was my plan. Yes. I was planning myself to do mm -hmm. so. But uh, finally, I met one holy man in my life yes. who directed me to follow another way. Yes. He said to me that God is preparing you for something else. Mm. So for this reason, uh, I decided to follow his advice because yes. he was a holy man. So I went to Paris first and then I went to Oxford where I did all my studies, yes. university studies, but at the end mm -hmm. I was uh, planning to become a professor. Okay. So during that time, the president of Cyprus, Macarius, yes. who was sponsoring my studies, yes. um, already he has constructed here in Nairobi, uh -huh. in the Riruta Satellite, uh, a theological seminary. Uh -huh. And he said to me that uh, I am really thinking that you are the right person to go there and work and open the school. Okay. So for this reason, mm -hmm. I decided, I made up my mind, mm -hmm. and I said, yes, mm -hmm. I am going, and I'm going to start a new life yeah. under any circumstances, because really I knew nothing about Africa. Yes. So I arrived in here. So Kenya was your first African country? Uh, Kenya was my first African country, mm -hmm. exactly. When was that? Of course, this one was in 1977, okay. January 1977. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I have to confess that uh, since that time, mm -hmm. up to this time I'm talking to you, mm -hmm. I have not regretted anyway mm -hmm. at all yes. that I, I made such a decision because mm -hmm. it was a very uh, difficult uh, yes. uh, you know, decision mm -hmm. for somebody who was uh, in Europe for so many years yes. and then to decide to come to Africa. And I have to say that uh, uh, I am enjoying each and every moment of my life yes. because uh, I am offering my services. Yes. I am sacrificing myself for so many mm -hmm. uh, activities we are doing yes. here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, mostly, I can say that uh, I have a passion for education mm -hmm. and uh, especially uh, educating the young ones, mm -hmm. uh, those who, who really study in the university, mm -hmm. secondary schools, that is why at the end uh, of the day, mm -hmm. uh, here in Kenya, I have constructed a good number of schools, primary and secondary. Mm -hmm. If you go to Migori, yes. up there, there is a very nice uh, a secondary school for boys and girls, and mm -hmm. also a primary school. Mm -hmm. If you go to Nandi, mm -hmm. in Kesengei, there is the Macarius Boys, mm -hmm. it is there. If you go to Vihika, there is uh, also St. Mark uh, uh, Orthodox um, Secondary School for mm -hmm. boys and girls. Mm -hmm. If you go to Lugari mm -hmm. in Chepsaita, there is there a very beautiful uh, primary school. Yes. And in so many other places, anyway, yeah. all over Kenya. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, you can understand that uh, uh, my main mission mm -hmm. is uh, to see that uh, we are uh, giving chances to the young generation uh, here in Kenya. Yes, and now the Orthodox Church has been able to maintain a low profile as opposed to other uh, denominations. Why is that? It is very true, yes. although mm -hmm. people don't know the history yes. of our presence here. And I have to go back uh, in the 1970s mm -hmm. uh, when um, was then Jomo Kenyatta mm -hmm. Uh, invited uh, our president and Archbishop, yes. Archbishop Macarius, uh -huh. uh, to come and visit Kenya. Yes. So the Archbishop came in March 1970 uh, in Kenya, yes. and uh, 
it, it was actually then that uh, he, he discovered mm -hmm. that here in Kenya uh, there is uh, an Orthodox uh, church. Mm -hmm. So um, he met the leaders of the church, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, Muzen Jomo Kenyatta requested him also mm -hmm. to do something for the country, which he did. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, he decided to request uh, uh, Muzen Jomo Kenyatta mm -hmm. to provide for him a piece of land. Okay. And Muzei Kenyatta provided the land where we are. Uh -huh. And if you come there, you will see uh, the educational centers uh, uh, belonging to the Orthodox Church mm -hmm. and uh, working every day yes. uh, in different uh, activities. Yes. So it is uh, in this way that uh, uh, we have extended mm -hmm. our activities not only in education but yes. also in philanthropic yes, activities yes. Uh, we have a primary school there where we are, and uh, in that primary and uh, kitten garden, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, uh, small children mm -hmm. who are actually uh, orphans mm -hmm. and needy people, yes. and uh, we provide free education. Mm -hmm. They don't pay, yes. they come every morning, they leave in the afternoon, mm -hmm. we give them everything, uniforms, shoes, education, and uh, breakfast and lunch. Yes. Uh, and we have similar programs in other places of Kenya, yes. uh, where we have our primary schools, mm -hmm. and the uh, young boys and girls are coming every day, mm -hmm. and they are receiving uh, free meals and free education. Okay. And at the same time, we have orphanages. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, We started with uh, uh, an orphanage in uh, Nyeri, mm -hmm. Then uh, we extended also uh, our activities in uh, um, Kilimanjaro, yes. uh, Ilasit. Mm -hmm. There we have also another one, mm -hmm. and in other places. Mm -hmm. So in this way, I feel that at least we are doing something for the people of Kenya. And uh, this is my great uh, joy, oh. uh, because uh, at least we are able to see that uh, we are uplifting mm -hmm. the young generation uh, people in education, and uh, we, uh, we have seen already the fruits of our work. Yes. Because uh, you can imagine 77, now we are in uh, 2019. No, 42 years. Uh, so yes. uh, we have uh, uh, children who are small children, mm -hmm. now they are grown up, they are university uh, people, they are uh, having their own families. Yes. And of course, they are remembering and they are appreciating mm -hmm. what we have done for them. And uh, perhaps for somebody who do not know more, uh, a lot about the Orthodox Church, what are some of the doctrines of the Church? Okay, you know, the Orthodox Church, uh, according to our uh, teachings and understanding, is uh, the Church which uh, was established during the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. And um, from that time, mm -hmm. we say, up to this present day, we still follow the ancient and undivided uh, dogmas and teachings of uh, Christ, mm -hmm. the apostles, mm -hmm. and the great fathers of the church. Mm -hmm. uh, so which means that uh, we are, of course, a church uh, following the teachings of the Bible, mm -hmm. but uh, at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, we have our holy tradition, mm -hmm. Uh, w holy tradition for us uh, is the decisions actually of the seven ecumenical councils mm -hmm. uh, where the r rules of the church yes. uh, were established mm -hmm. and we are still following those rules up to the present day. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is a church uh, which uh, derives from the time of J uh, Jesus Christ, the apostles, the mm -hmm. great fathers and ascetics uh, of our church. Mm -hmm. And um, many, uh, in, in terms of uh, donations, you've talked about uh, also donations. What are your views in regards to uh, donations and most, most uh, by politicians? Okay, of course we have uh, ourselves, we are receiving, uh, because I'm sure you are wondering how we are able to yes, yes. run our institutions and yes. so on. Yes, we are receiving, of course, donations from uh, our friends mm -hmm. from abroad. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, uh, if uh, a politician is ready to uh, assist us, mm -hmm. uh, we will accept. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see the reason uh, why not to accept uh, a donation from a politician. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, a politician mm -hmm. and uh, 
and the church also, mm -hmm. you know, we are somehow doing similar mm -hmm. activities. Uh, they are working for the people, we are working mm -hmm. also for the people, mm -hmm. for the spirituality of the people, but at the same time, mm -hmm. as I said before, we are dedicating ourselves mm -hmm. Uh, in education uh -huh. and in other philanthropic activities. Over 40 years you've been uh, here, have you about been able to spread your wings to other countries and uh, what are the challenges, some of the challenges? Okay, uh, uh, it is, uh, yeah. it is uh, yes, uh, actually uh, this is uh, how uh, we are here in Africa since the time of uh, Apostle and Evangelist Mark. Yes. Mark uh, was the first uh, bishop uh, in Alexandria in Egypt. Uh -huh. And uh, orthodoxy actually was spread in the whole of the African continent. Mm -hmm. So um, in each and every African mm -hmm. uh, country, we have uh, bishops, uh, uh, we have churches, uh, we have faithful, and uh, they have similar activities uh -huh. like the ones we have here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, our uh, theological seminary here in Nairobi I can say it is the center yes. because we are uh, having students from other African nations who are coming to receive their education mm -hmm. for three years and then go back to their own countries mm -hmm. to become priests mm -hmm. or catechists mm -hmm. or teachers mm -hmm. uh, because we have next to our theological seminary, we have a teacher's college. Uh -huh. What drives you? I mean, you wake up every day for over 40 years in Kenya and you still want to stay here in Kenya. Yes, uh, if I tell you uh, what time uh, uh, I'm waking up in the morning, yes, yes uh, uh, anybody, uh, those who are around me, they know yes. that uh, at four o'clock I am in my office. Yes, okay. uh, this is my program every day. And uh, every week, yes. every week I am traveling, mm -hmm. even as I am talking to you this evening. Yes. Uh, tomorrow I am preparing to travel to Kisumu. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a seminar there for the priests. Yes. On Saturday, I will go to Nandi. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday, I will be in Nakuru. Yes. So uh, my daily program mm -hmm. is really full because uh, I, have, I am the Archbishop. Mm -hmm. I am at the same time the Dean of the seminary, mm -hmm. which means that uh, I am teaching. Yes. So I have three days mm -hmm. teaching in the seminary. Mm -hmm. And then the rest, uh, I have to travel and visit uh, the parishes uh, and the faithfuls mm -hmm. and the schools uh, in other places of Kenya. Uh -huh. I hear you speak several languages and okay. including African. Uh, <laughs> of course, I know um, the African uh, dialects. Yes. Uh, we did a lot of work yes. in uh, translations. Uh -huh. Actually, uh, we are very advanced because uh, uh, in our services, uh, we are using the language of the tribe, yes. the, the dialects. Uh -huh. You know, if we are in Maasai, mm -hmm. we are using Maasai. Mm -hmm. If uh, we are in Luya land, we are using Luya. If mm -hmm. we are uh, in uh, Kisi, we are using Kisi. Mm -hmm. If we are in Nandi, Kinandi, mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. So we have translated uh, all our services mm -hmm. in the local dialects. And because uh, 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 this is my, my own, anyway, yes. um, decision mm -hmm. when I first arrived here that I felt that it was very necessary mm -hmm. to do that uh, work, although it was not an easy work, uh, you know, the translations. Mm -hmm. But we were able, and I'm sure today the people are rejoicing because they are receiving the message of the gospel yes. authentic. Yes, yes. Uh, they understand uh -huh. uh, the services, mm -hmm. and uh, in this way uh, they are coming closer to Christ. Mm -hmm. and they. What are the, some of the challenges that you've uh, encountered in your work here in Kenya? Okay, uh, if you are asking me a personal question, yes. of course, uh, it is, uh, first of all, the diseases. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, I had a lot of problems with my health. Uh -huh. And, uh, of course, uh, by the grace of God, mm -hmm. if you see me tonight, uh, you might uh, think that uh, I am a very healthy man, mm -hmm. the way I look. Yes. Yes, it is true, mm -hmm. but um, uh, in the past, let us say 10 years ago, I was very sick mm -hmm. and uh, I had many um, operations mm -hmm. and uh, of course uh, uh, I know about malaria, mm -hmm. it was 
something unknown to me. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then I know about Zika's. Yeah. You know, when I was traveling in Laikipia, for example, mm -hmm. in those remote areas, yes. or Lotua, you yes. know Lotua, yes. or Lamu, yes. <laughs> all these places, <laughs> I know them very well because. I have been, as I said before, mm -hmm. every week uh, I have to be somewhere, yeah. so I know the places, but I don't mind. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as I say I am alive mm -hmm. and uh, I am, uh, let us say, bodily and spiritually mm -hmm. uh, in good health, uh, mm -hmm. I will continue my work. Mm -hmm. God knows yes. uh, for how many years mm -hmm. I will be able to continue uh, my spiritual journey. Yes. It's a long journey, of course. Yes. Yes. I don't know when it will end. Myself, I am ready to continue uh, offering my services mm -hmm. and uh, uh, sacrificing myself, uh, yes. myself for the others because uh, this is the, I, I believe this is the award mm -hmm. which uh, somebody is receiving yes. when he's giving his life mm -hmm. uh, and everything for the others. Mm -hmm. This is the greatest uh, blessing yes. for me. And as a man of God and as an archbishop, uh, there are so many challenges that you've seen in our country, uh, the state of the nation as it is right now. What are your views? On? Okay, uh, you know, I have many uh, friends. Huh? Yes. I am uh, uh, actually connected with the government. I am connected also with the uh, opposition leaders. They know me, I know them because yes. they know the work I, I have done. Yes. So my, my feeling is that uh, uh, it is time mm -hmm. not uh, to repeat uh, the same, to see again the same situations which we, all of us we have experienced for the last uh, at least 40 years mm -hmm. when myself I arrived because I was here uh, mm -hmm. during the uh, terrible uh, years mm -hmm. of the clashes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that uh, that politi politicians mm -hmm. should uh, think uh, more uh, deeply and spiritually mm -hmm. and uh, find a way to come together mm -hmm. and work together uh, because this is the only way uh, to bring uh, peace uh, uh, in this country of Kenya mm -hmm. and also among the people. Yes. Uh, of course, you know very well uh, yeah. the tribalistic issue yes, yes. Uh, was there uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the past. I hope uh, with the wise mm -hmm. uh, decisions uh, and their wisdom, uh, mm -hmm. the politicians yes. and the knowledge which they have um, to be able to uh, bring about uh, peace uh, and tranquility mm -hmm. and harmony among the people. Yes. Yes. Ourselves, mm -hmm. especially uh, personally myself, uh, I am working and I am embracing each and everybody. Yes. Um, and I always uh, say that uh, each and every human uh, person mm -hmm. is uh, the image of God. Yes. I am saying this every day. Mm -hmm. That is why I am able to work everywhere yeah. and in each and every uh, corner of Kenya and also among all the tribes. Yeah. I have no problem. And this is what I'm teaching the people, that sure. they should understand that we are all the children of God yeah. and uh, we should respect yes. and embrace one another. Oh. As we wind up, what do you like to, to do when you unwind? Do you mean when you're not uh, doing your church work or yes. you are... Uh, when I am teaching. free. Yes, when yes. you're free. Okay, uh, it is something which I'm doing every day, mm -hmm. yes. When I, ha I have a free time, mm -hmm. uh, definitely I am writing. Uh -huh. Or, yes. uh, because uh, as I said uh, at uh, the beginning, uh -huh. uh, I was uh, uh, planning to become a musician, yes. you see. <laughs> I have my piano, uh -huh. I like to play, to play the piano, of course. Uh, but mostly I am writing books. Okay. I have written a lot of books yes. uh, on uh, church history, mostly, and um, about also uh, uh, the different tribes in Kenya. Uh -huh. I'm really um, on that. Uh -huh. And uh, so I don't say that I have a free time. Yes. If uh, I am not in class, uh -huh. if I am not in a parish, uh -huh. if I am not in my office uh -huh. uh, to see the people, uh, the, the fathers, uh, all the seminarians, yes. uh, then I am dedicating myself in writing, uh -huh. uh, you know, books mm -hmm. and so on. And uh, just one last question. You have Macario's uh, FC. Are you a soccer fan or something? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, you see, it is my team. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm engaging also uh, 
uh, to that activity. Yes. And uh, I have to tell you, last week mm -hmm. I was in. The, they invited me yes. uh, because they were playing uh, there in our field. Mm -hmm. So I was present, mm -hmm. and uh, it is the team which uh, I am the one who established, mm -hmm. and I am still assisting them. Yes. And I, uh, I have seen that uh, it is also another way mm -hmm. to engage uh, the young people. You yes. know, mm -hmm. avoiding you know going uh, out yes. to drink or to steal and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am also uh, in, that, in that very important activity. I think it is very necessary yeah, to be uh, close to the youth. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, His mm -hmm. Eminence. Uh, viewers, we've been speaking to uh, Archbishop Makarios of the Orthodox Church here in Nairobi. And uh, thank you so much again for coming. Until uh, next time, uh, we're going back to the news.